You guys who follow my channel for a while know I love hunting for deals on computer parts. Uh, you know, honestly, I spend a lot of my time doing that anyway, so I post some of them on my communi community page and all that, but I thought for Prime Day, I'd actually do a video featuring a few of my favorites. So first of all, how about a graphics card? A lot of people have been looking to buy a graphics card. Prices have been coming down, but when do you jump in? Well, if you're looking for 1080p, uh, solid, you know, high to ultra settings at around 60 FPS or turn things down a bit and you're well over that. Um, or, you know, in lighter weight titles, uh, well over 60 FPS, solid 1080p performance. The RX 6600 has been the best bang for the buck for a long time. This thing is better than an RTX 3050, it's better than an RTX 2060, and it costs significantly less, and this is the best deal I've seen on one. Now, you always wanna make sure that you're not getting drawn in by the list price and the deal, because usually the list price isn't what things actually sell at. And that's one of the things that I'm gonna talk about in this video. So on a graphics card, if you wanna get a better idea of what these things usually sell for, and what the different models of the graphics card sell for, one good place to check is PC Part Picker. They don't find the latest like up to the split second deals, but it is a good idea uh, for how to survey what the general market looks like because they survey the prices at a lot of major retailers and you can compare them all together. So if I search for RX 6600 under video cards here and search uh, low to high, um, you'll see that, okay, we do see one other model for this price, and I'll get to that in a second, and then they usually jump up more at around $280, $290, or $300. Now, the only other model that's for this $255 price is the MSI Mech, and if we look closer at this, um, it's a $20 mail-in rebate that's actually getting it down to that price. So mail-in rebates can be hit or miss. Sometimes you don't actually get it. Sometimes it, you do get it, but it's a huge hassle and it takes months to process. So this is the best deal I've seen with no strings attached other than you do need to be a Prime member. And um, if you're not already, I will include a affiliate link for a free trial in my description. I'll put all these links in my description and comp pinned comment to this video. Uh, and I should be able to get in a free trial of uh, Amazon Prime in there as well. Um, anyway, let's look at some other deals. So what if you're looking to upgrade your CPU? Uh, to like an eight core, uh, very, very solid gaming CPU would be decent for productivity as well. The 5700X would be a great CPU. And $250 seems like a good deal. Is this a good deal? Well, okay, when you're looking at something like this, where there's not a million different models to compare, the 5700X really is just the 5700X. Um, if you go down on the Amazon descriptions, you can find the ASIN number, okay? And if you copy that and then go to a website called Camel Camel Camel, I get asked all the time on my community page post where I'm posting deals, how am I getting that Amazon pricing history? Well, I do it at camelcamelcamel.com. Uh, you search for the ASIN number of the product that you're looking for. So I copy and pasted that and then they give you this nice pricing history graph where you can look at the Amazon price history compared to third party uh, new price history, third party used price history. Now this is just Amazon, so it's not comparing all the different websites out there that are selling these. Um, so keep that in mind, but at least on Amazon, this is uh, the lowest price we've seen on this is $279.99. And the current price we're looking at here is 250. So I know sometimes people get crazy CPU deals at like micro centers and things like that. Well, we don't all live near a micro center. So this is, uh, if you're buying on Amazon, the lowest price I have seen on a 5700X. And a lot of you would be on a compatible motherboard for this. And this would be a fantastic upgrade. I think this thing will be a solid uh, CPU for years and years and years to come. So this would be um, a fantastic deal. Now, if you're looking for an even higher end CPU, I think for most people, it's actually not worth stepping up to this point, but the 5900X is also available for a lower than usual on Amazon price here at $364.99. And 
Um, so this gets you up to 12 cores. Now for gaming, you're not really gonna see any improvement going from that 5700 up to this 5900X. I mean, if there's any improvement, it's so small you would not notice it without running a frame rate counter or something like that. Uh, most games can't even utilize the eight core 16 thread, let alone 12 core 24 thread. However, if you do productivity where or doing some things that like render on the CPU, video editing, things like that, um, that could be worth looking into. And if we take again, take this ASIN number and go over to our camel, 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 uh, we can search this and track the Amazon pricing history. And we can see that this uh, has been hanging out near, but not at this price for a while. It looks like the previous lowest that uh, Camel 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 picked up was $385 on Amazon. Now I know these have gone for lower at like Micro Center and places like that. Um, and occasionally there'll be like a split second deal that sells out or something like that on Amazon that Camel 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 doesn't pick up. But anything that sits in stock very long, it usually picks up and this looks to be beating that price. No. This is the actual mouse that I own. I'll look, look right here, this is it, this is what I use. I actually have two of them. I like them so much. I have one of them sitting um, at my ultra wide where I film my videos and do my productivity. And then right next to me over here, I have my LG C1 4K OLED that I use for gaming. And I actually got one of these for each spot because you can get such good deals on them. This is the Logitech G305. This is a wireless gaming mouse, it's super fast. And um, the reason I actually bought it is it has a 250 hour um, battery life. So I, like I said, I have two of these. I've had them for, for months and months and months and I've literally never changed the battery. Now it's not a rechargeable battery. Um, it's, uh, you pop this little thing off and it's just a single double A battery. Also, if you're one of those people who want a, like a super lightweight gaming mouse, um, I've heard people wrap a triple A battery in tin foil to still conduct, uh, to conduct the electricity and put it in there to even shave more weight off of it. But it's already pretty light. Uh, it's a fairly small mouse. Uh, my only even slight complaint, if you even want to call it that, is that, um, for me, uh, I do feel like the actual plasticky material isn't quite as high grade feeling as the more expensive mice that I've had. I've actually had much more expensive mice than this, but I prefer this one because I've literally never had to change the battery or charge it or anything, which is just super convenient. And I like it for gaming. It feels good, um, has a good sensor and all of that. So I love this mouse. And uh, you can find deals on these fairly regularly. So it's not usually sitting at $50, but $28.49 actually is the lowest I have ever seen. And we can double check camel, camel, camel. Uh, if we can get all the way down through this stuff uh, to the ASIN number. So we'll take that ASIN number, pop back over to camel, camel, camel. Guys, the big thing about me finding deals on this, and yes, if you use my Amazon links and stuff like that, I can make money, I can get a percentage um, cut of this, but my, I, I always make sure I'm actually posting good deals for you guys. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to just sell you stuff. I want it to be a good deal. And if I also get a little cut of that to help fund the channel, let me buy new graphics cards to test and all of that. Um, uh, it's a win-win situation. So I want to make sure, yeah, it looks like the lowest price that these have gone for is $29.99. Uh, that looks um, like we were in November, so maybe that was some kind of a Black Friday type deal. Um, so this is beating that, and looks like usually this is hanging out, you know, bumping between the $50 and the $40 price range with occasionally seeing sales uh, down a bit lower. So this is a very good price on this mouse. Actually, it is, you know, by a few cents at least, the lowest price in Amazon history on that. Um, and like I said, I, I personally like this mouse so much that I've bought two of them. I've never had any of the double clicking issues that people have um, complained about with a lot of the Logitech mouse. I'm not saying you couldn't ever get them, um, but uh, I love the battery life on this thing. Uh, now this last deal I wanted to talk about actually isn't one of the prime only deals. So I guess maybe this isn't technically a prime day prime only deal but this looks like a really good price on a, on a well-reviewed 1440p monitor. So this um, LG 27GL850B uh, gets pretty good reviews. This is a 1440p uh, uh, monitor with the uh, Nano 
technology. It helps the colors look pretty good. This is IPS um, with a pretty good response. This is G-Sync compatible FreeSync monitor. And um, this thing is, uh, lo looks like a really good deal to me. This is down at $250 right now. So for these specs, I believe this is 144 hertz, whereas you know sometimes you get 165 hertz. Uh, but given the quality of the monitor itself and its reviews, I feel like this is a very good deal. You could obviously uh, look up a full review of it. I haven't um, used this monitor myself in person, so I don't want to mislead you guys on that. But if we take the ASIN number once again, over to triple camel, camel cubed, whatever we want to call it, camel, camel, camel. Uh, we can once again show you that this is indeed, um, has been dipping in price here, but it, it uh, absolutely plummeted right here to $250 um, as of, uh, let's see, I think that went into effect like yesterday. So um, really good deal on that monitor. So those were the best deals that I found today. Now there are a lot of other deals. And if you wanna be monitoring this throughout the day, the last thing I'll leave you guys with, which is one of the places where I get a lot of the really good deals that I post on my community page uh, is actually this build a PC sales subreddit. Um, so if you go here throughout the day, I'm sure people will be posting lots of really good deals. You can sort by new to see the freshest ones or by like, you know, hot or top or whatever. Uh, if you wanna see which ones are getting the most upvotes and all of that. So um, yeah you can go ahead and take a look over there, or search through them yourself. But these were the ones that, that stood out to me. Uh, really good 1080p GPU, really good gaming CPU for a fair price. If you want some more cores, uh, there's your 5900X. Love this mouse. Like I said, I bought two of them and we've got um, the uh, uh, 1440p monitor upgrade for those of you looking to make that jump. I hope this was useful for you guys. And I hope, uh, I hope you have an excellent day. Prime day, excellent prime day. Ha, ha, ha.